All right, guys. So you might have interest now in tax liens, tax deeds, and I've got an expert. I, the, the, I would say the world's leading expert in tax liens and deeds, somebody that's been there, done that, done it for decades. And I'm so proud and uh, blessed to know Ted Thomas. Uh, we have we go way back in one of the great things that I do also is invest in tax liens and deeds. So I'm very familiar with the process and just know that you can learn a lot from someone that that's all he does is tax liens and deeds. So he's really into it. And what we've been able to do is blend his business with our business. Because you know that I'm a big believer in the buy and hold strategy. So imagine that you could buy properties for literally pennies on the dollar, and then you can keep them as cash flow machines through our path to home ownership, where you get hunks, or bits and pieces, and hunks and chunks of money off the same property over and over and over, making an amazing retirement. So I'm welcoming back Ted Thomas. He's already answered about 10 questions that I've got, but I, I wrote down a whole bunch of questions. So there's a lot of things that I wanted to cover and I want to give you guys the opportunity to learn. So, uh, hi, Ted. Hello there. Good to see you again. All right. It's great to see you. And uh, we're going to say to folks, welcome back to part two. Uh, if you missed part one, not a problem. I want you to just uh, refresh our memory on what tax liens and deeds are. Okay, good. Well, folks, tax lien certificates and tax deeds are available all across the United States. About half of the states will sell tax lien certificates. All of the states are authorized to sell tax deeds. Now, a tax certificate is just a piece of paper. You do not get a possession of the property. You just get a piece of paper, but you earn interest on it. So your interest could be 16, 18, 24, up to 36%. Now, with a tax lien certificate, you invest with the government, you get a check back on it. It's a predictable, certain, and secure investment. Now, most of our audience today probably is more interested as entrepreneurs to get property. So what happens is every property is taxable. If it, the people don't pay the tax in the tax deed states, what the county will do is they'll confiscate the property. They're going to seize the property. So if you're in California, New York, and about half of the states, they actually go and they remove them. They evict them, take them off the property. Then the county now owns the property because... You forfeit tax. You forfeit your property if you don't pay tax. Now, what does the county do with those? Here's the beauty of the business: they sell those properties, starting bid, back taxes, no mortgage. The mortgage is gone; it's wiped out. So that you're buying properties at ten cents, twenty cents on the dollar, and that's normal in the tax deed business. Now, this is a business of abundance. Most people don't have any idea what I'm talking about. If you learn it today and you tell someone you're going to wish you hadn't told them because they're not going to believe it. Okay. I've had to take attorneys with me when I explained it because people don't believe it. So I'm here to tell you these properties are sold 10 and 20 cents on the dollar with no mortgage. And they will always be too many. I can guarantee you there will always be too many properties available. There's over 2 million will be available this year. And it's been that way for all the time I've been in the business, which is a total of 30 years. Well, Ted, I can back that up because I'm aware that in many places in the country, they put properties up for tax, li dean, tax lien or deed bidding and bidders don't even show up. They don't even do anything because it's too rural or it's too far out or whatever it might be, but there's just not that many people that even know about them in those local governments. And so it's cool when you discover that and you kind of got that little sweet spot, that little honey spot that uh, you can just go in and clean up. And there's, at, like you said, there's such a huge abundance of them. Now I want to go deeper. I think I understand about tax liens and certificates because I've been doing it, but most clients have never heard of tax lien certificates. Are they available in every state? No, they're not available in every state. Uh, approximately half of the states will sell tax lien certificates, but all of the states will sell tax default of property. So the states that are very benevolent, they're good to their, their people, uh, they're going to sell a tax lien. Now, when you buy it, you don't get possession of a property. The property owner stays on the property. So they don't kick anybody out. The property owner stays there. Maybe they had COVID. All right. So if they had some awful thing happen to them, they stay there. And then when they get finished with all that, they, the government still sold the tax lien. 
they then will have money together. They go back to work or whatever they do. They can buy their tax lien back. When they buy it back from you, they have to give you back all of your money. Let me say that again. You give me back all your money, plus whatever the rate on that certificate was. Now, Georgia, for an example, is very much like that kind of state. Georgia is very benevolent to the people who live in Georgia. Georgia says, we're going to sell you the tax deed to the property. So you buy the deed, but you don't get possession. You get the deed. So you just hold it. That person has time to come back and pay. So they can come in and buy it back from you. They're going to give you back all your money plus a 20% return. So any day in Georgia, from day one all the way to day 365, if they come in and pay you, you get back all your money plus 20%. Now, where are you going to make 20%? You didn't do any work. You just went to the auction and raised your hand. And that's what we call a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Ted, why doesn't our brokers, why don't they tell us about this? Well, uh, let's not make brokers sound like they're bad people because they're not, okay? But the bankers won't tell you, the attorneys won't tell you, uh, financial planners won't tell you. And it's always the same reason. Folks, the only people that are going to tell you anything are people that are getting a commission to tell you, a real estate broker, an attorney, uh, all those people, they're going to get commissions. There's no commissions in tax certificates. You're going to have to learn how to do this yourself. This has been available for 200 years. Ted Thomas didn't invent it. I've been doing it for 30 years. I started as an investor, and then I became a coach and a mentor and a guide. And then the next thing you know, I started creating distance learning uh, so people could learn how to do it. I teach it all the English countries of the world. I teach this, and uh, I've been doing it for 25 years. So there's nothing new about it. It's an old, old system. As a matter of fact, you're going to find the counties are somewhat behind by they're still in 1950 and we're in 2020 it's going to take a little while to the counties to catch up but once you learn this system you can do it for the rest of your life i'll guarantee it for the rest of your life yes sir that's a good thing uh and lack of education I, one of my favorite saying is you don't know what you don't know and there's exactly. an awful lot of attorneys that don't know what they don't know there's a lot of cpas yeah. there's a lot of financial planners there's a lot of brokers that don't know what they don't know and so this yeah. is kind of like our little hidden secret here that we can talk about so L most L of my clients let me interrupt and, and 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 say something because you said it when we first started this video but it reminded me uh, that when the auctions take place, people don't show up. So while I'm talking, the picture's coming on the screen, and it shows a guy by the name of B.R. Baker. Now, he works down there around Macon, Georgia. He's a, he's a um, preacher, and he came to me and said, I got to make some money. I'm not making any money. I said, well, what are you doing? He said, well, I, I teach Islam and Christianity in the Georgia prison system. I said, well, does that pay much? He said, I'm lucky to get paid. He said, the prisoners all love me because they either want Christianity or, you know, because they want to straighten their lives out. I said, well, what a wonderful thing. So I taught him how to do it. So he went to this first auction and there was a property for sale, but nobody else was buying anything. Nobody was doing anything, just like you said. So he, he left the auction, called me on the phone. He said, Ted, there's nobody doing anything. I said, well, is there a property you want to buy? He said, yeah, there's a nice little two bedroom, one bath, two bedroom, one bath. The picture's up on the screen of it right now. Two bedroom, one bath. I said, well, did they have a minimum bid? He said, yeah, I think it was 300 bucks. I said, no, it can't be that low. He said, should I go back? I said, go back right now. He went back. You're not, you'll believe this because you know. He went back and he bought a two-bedroom, one-bath house for $316 with no mortgage. Yeah, get babe. this. A young kid comes along and I'm putting the picture up and said, look, I just got married. Can I rent this house for 500 bucks a month for the whole year? The guy gave him $6,000 to rent it and he only bought it for $300. So just what you said is exactly what happens. Every time I talk to somebody, it reminds me of another thing. But let's go back to those questions. It's I just so want to show you. Because now you take what we do, the path to home ownership, and you really can make so much more money because of the fact that you just don't have as much invested in purchasing the property in the first place. So it's well, he way. said he said the property's worth $50,000, cost him 300 bucks. I never did one like that. But I'll tell all you guys that are looking in right now, you know, if you don't get in the game, you can't make the deals. So you got to get in the game. I never got one for 300, but I'm going to show you a lot of my students have. That's also, that's uh, also very, very true. All right. So most of my clients are from the USA, but can people outside the country invest in these things? 
Well, it was so um, uh, uh, until about five years ago, you, you couldn't do that because people, nobody taught people how to do it. But I specialize in teaching people outside. So I actually teach the class that I'm going to teach your people. I, I actually teach that class in Bangkok, in Melbourne, Australia. I teach it in Singapore and almost all the provinces of Canada. I literally have hundreds of clients in Canada, which I'll show examples of on, on this video in a minute, uh, people that are buying in the United States and they never leave Canada. Wow. So if they can speak English and get an English account. Now, the reason you have to speak English, as you know, we only have one official language in the United States. And so the counties all run on English. So you're gonna need that language or someone that your associate can to do your communication. Because you won't can communicate with me or you, Lou. They're gonna learn how to do this. We teach them how to do business direct. No brokers, no bankers, no, no people cutting in on the commissions. There's no commissions in this business. Yes, sir. It's what, another thing we call a beautiful thing. Yeah, exactly. Right, so uh, Ted, why should I buy tax lien certificates or defaulted properties? Well, the best reason, and what I would tell people, if you're a little, if you're a, a, a little old lady, like Ted's a little old man, uh, then you don't want to take any risk. So then you want to learn about tax lien certificates, because here's what happens to your money. You give it directly to the government. All right, now the government's either going to, going to get paid or you're going to get the property. So you don't have any risk. It takes all the risk out. Now, it's not fair for me to say there's no risk. There's always risk in the world. But if you invest with the government and get a check back from the government, that's pretty risk-free. So tax liens are excellent for everybody. Now, I don't have time now, but I'll show you in a class how to make big money in tax certificates. Most of the people that want to do this want to get a property for a few thousand dollars, 5,000, 7,000, and be able to double or quadruple their money. So what I teach people is buy it low, buy it low, and then sell it low. So a $100,000 property, let's get it for 20 cents on the dollar, and then let's sell it for 50 cents on the dollar. So we got it for 20,000, we sold it for 50,000, and we do it fast. And guys, now add to that exactly what I teach you to do is hold it long term and get all the tax benefits. So when you flip like that, you do have to pay, you could do have a partner in the deal called Uncle Sam. But with our method, you've actually got all the benefits, the depreciation write-offs and so many more things, the income for the rest of your life, the potential of having retirement uh, income off of it. So this is, a, this is a beautiful thing to be able to marry both concepts in what I've been teaching you as well. Now, um, Ted, should we buy big ones or small ones? Well, you want to start small. I tell people actually to start out with residential lots rather than even a house. You see, the average person is conceived in a house. They grow up in a house, so they're going to buy houses at auction. So that kind of pushes the price up a little bit. So I say, look, no one's looking at residential lot, so they're going to push the, the prices pushed down, plus it's going to sell for back taxes. So I like to buy those lots for absolute pennies, then resell them to kind of get used to it. You know, it's just a system once they learn how to do this. Now, I'm not against buying a house the first time out, but I teach people buy it low and then do something about selling it quickly. So we want to buy and sell because here's what we know that everybody else doesn't know. We know that there's going to be too many properties at these auctions. We know, and we have databases that will show literally hundreds of properties. Whereas the average guy has to get a bunch of brokers, has to travel around the community. We're going to do all that with a computer sitting on your rusty dusty. So we're going to have an abundance of everything. And there's a lot more than I mean, I could ever disclose on this video. I mean, it's absolutely massive. It, it is massive. And, you know, one of the things that I cut my teeth in when I got interested in this decades ago was actually going live to the auctions. And I know you told me that a lot of these are being conducted online. And that's certainly great from the comfort of your own home to be able to bid on these auctions. And but we used to get in a car and drive to Florida and we were doing those 18 percenters, baby. And we had like a cartel going where if I got one for 18 percent, nobody else bid against me. And then the next one would get his for 18 percent. The next one would get hers for 18 percent. And we would right. just shut up and we would let everybody win at the 18 percent. Of course, then Wall Street got involved and everybody started bidding against each other. They bid it down to like a quarter of a percent because what they were really up to is getting the property. But 
those are the live settings, right? Where you can see everybody else and you can kind of camaraderie with everybody else. Yeah. So it's kind of cool when yeah. you can be in those live auctions. So tell me about that. Can we still do that? Well, uh, here's what's happening. It, it's uh, that same market is still open for people to, to to go to live auctions. So it's okay to go to a live auction, but what if you could go to five online auctions in the same period of time? So we're only doing it for the money. Uh, when we did live auctions. So I, st I cut my teeth by taking people to tax lien auctions. Two or 300 people would go with me. I had so many people with me that in Maricopa County in Phoenix, they said, Ted, we can't let your people take chairs. You're using up too many chairs in our auditorium. I said, well, can my people stand? And so my people would stand for the eight hours of the auction. They would stand there uh, next to it. Uh, but, so that was a social thing. And listen, everybody loves to go to seminars because What's more fun than going out that night and having a couple of uh, a couple of ribs and uh, some cold beer and getting to know some more new people? Uh, but now the business is uh, that way still in Georgia because they're still having live auctions. But now with COVID, I think you're going to find all those auctions are coming online. Plus, when they go online, so convenient and so, yeah, so yeah. comfortable to work from home. So it makes a lot of sense. All right. So uh, which is better to go to Miami? a big city or county, or is it better to go to a small county in, say, Arizona? Oh, I would tell people uh, every time, go to the small counties, learn it there. You'll, you'll meet real people. You'll, the auctioneers will be county employees. Uh, you go to a place like Miami. Well, I'll show you. I'm going to switch cameras, and I'll just keep talking, but she'll switch the camera, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just show you what is going to happen when you go to Miami. Okay, so this is a list for, uh, it's just Broward County of Miami, it doesn't matter which one. Let me read the list with my glasses and I'll show you what happens when you go. So, so this is Miami, I'm gonna show you Miami. All right, so now this is an auction list that you're looking at. Let me turn the other one over so it's not distracting. All right, so this is an auction, you wanna go to Miami? It's okay with me. Uh, this, is, this is groups of pages I'm going through here and we're gonna have about, um, we're gonna have about 65,000 certificates available in Miami, oh, 65,000. Son of a gun. That's going to take a while to get through. Oh my goodness. There's so many, there's just so many certificates. So a little place will have, now I live in a small county and they even have 15,000 here. 15, so just 000, in Florida, 15, just in Florida now, they will have 1 million certificates available every year. Wow. 1 million. So the, the counties that I would suggest, I would follow, follow the exact strategy that you developed years ago in Georgia. Go to the rural counties. They might only have 10 or 15 properties, but you can look at them all in a day or look at them the day before, go to the auction the next morning. So that makes a lot of sense. Or, and, and in Georgia, they make a minimum of 20%, never less than 20 in Georgia. Well, I think you might've answered this next question. What's the maximum number of tax lien certificates that are available? And really, it's whatever's available in that particular county at any given time that they're doing an auction, right? Exactly, exactly. So I'm going to put it up on camera right now and show you Tampa, Florida. Just, just as an example, should just put put it up there for a couple of seconds. That's Tampa, Florida. About there's anywhere from thirty to forty thousand certificates in that newspaper. Let me get the newspaper out. Okay, I'm just going to I'm going to scan it for you. I can't move my camera, but I can move the newspaper. Okay. That's a regular size newspaper like the Wall Street Journal. It's the same size, but you can see. <laughs> it just goes on and on and on and on. So the point, the point most people don't understand is this is an opportunity. Before, before this went online, these auctions would take two or three days. Yeah, I've two been there. <laughs> now you can do this whole thing online. So I heard you say that the minimum payment in Georgia is 20%. Is that correct? 20% is the minimum in the first year. All right. So if they don't pay you in the first year, you could start a foreclosure. But I tell my people, stay with it, stay with it, stay. get to the first year, don't foreclose, let it go over to the next year. Because on the 366th day, you don't get 20% anymore. Now you get 30%. And a year later, 40%. And a year later, 50%. I mean, <sighs> It's, uh, it's amazing. The, it's amazing. The word for this business is abundance, but here's what's the difference. This is what you have to learn. You need to learn that we're going to teach you to research. Real estate investors want to drive up, look at the property and be done. We're going to teach you to do that online 
so that you can research the property. If you research a property, you're going to be successful. It's just not, it's not gunslingers anymore. It's just strictly business. And if you learn it that way, you're going to do fine. We have classes every day. Well, that's one of the reasons that well, I wanted to invite you here because we're going to be doing an all day. And the, you know, the last one, the last question I have for you for this segment is uh, why would anybody be, buy, buy tax lien certificates when they could buy tax deeds? Well, there's two different investors are being accommodated here. There's an investor that just has a pension plan and they don't want to lose that money because it took them so long to get it. So they should buy tax lien certificates because they're always going to get paid. You're either going to get the money or you're getting the property. All right. Whereas you're gonna the, when you, you're going to get your money back plus interest or you're going to get the property, right? Exactly. Exactly. Now, the other way, you're actually going to buy property. Now, if you're not paying attention, all tax lien properties, most of them are used and abused. They're used and abused. But what if they're a junker? Now, some people live dangerous. They will actually buy a property and they haven't seen it. Now, you know what that mistake is. No matter what I write or talk, I still have people doing it. They, they might lose their money. So all tax lien properties, just because they say it's an auction, does not mean everything's a bargain. You have to learn what the bargains are. But that's any kind of real estate. You know, a building could be eaten out by termites and you push your hand on it, it falls down. That's a worthless building. So you need to, so I would tell people that want to be very conservative, start with tax liens. Uh, if you want to be a little bit more assertive and you want to make big profits, the big profits are in the tax defaulted property. It's a beautiful thing. Well, Ted, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for giving us additional education in this arena. I love it. I think it's an amazing thing that people can deep dive into from the comfort of their own homes. I thank you for bringing us the possibility today and you and I have worked something out on all day training. Why don't you tell them about it? Okay, folks, below me right now is a registration form. All right, now let me be upfront with you. It costs $47. You're gonna spend the whole day with me and if Lou wants to be there, he can be there too. We're gonna spend the whole day together. We're gonna start 11 in the morning. We're gonna go to 5.30 or six at night and I'll teach you everything I possibly can do in that six hours. Now, can I teach you everything I know in six hours? No, but I can teach you a lot. We can teach you about tax lien certificates and show you people doing it, teach you about tax deeds and people doing it. I can teach you about the legal process that has to be done and I can show you real deals so you'll get it. All you have to do below is register for that. Then my office will start communicating with you. You won't be by yourself on that event. You'll get to come on screen just like I am now. You'll be over on the side and everybody that comes to the event gets to see each other, but you'll love it. It's a, a, a event that I've been doing for the past, uh, the past 10 years. And so you'll get to know a lot about tax liens and deeds. It's a very small price to pay. And that's so I can pay my staff to come and help me out do it. So we'd love to have you there. So just go, go below me right now and you can register. But we're going to come back with another video in just another day or so. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I kind of overwhelmed you with a whole bunch of questions. So we're going to chop this up, guys. So just go ahead and take advantage of this now. You might not even see the next video or the one before. So go ahead and take this right now. Get yourself registered. You, you bet I'm going to be there. That's an amazing thing to learn about. And from, I think he's the worldwide expert on tax deeds and liens. So you're doing yourself a favor to get this education. It definitely, in your career, there's going to be opportunities opportunities to take advantage of this. Sometimes I'm buying properties that already have tax liens and deeds, and there's an existing right of redemption. I can work with you on teaching you how we get those properties. You tie it in with our path to home ownership. You have an amazing life. So encourage you to add this to your repertoire, add this to your education, and I will see you there. Yeah, baby. I came across Ted Thomas material sometime in July of last year, and it was just really good timing because we were just about a time looking for something with greater returns, uh, something that will give us more time to spend uh, with family and enjoy our family more while uh, you know being able to live the life we've always dreamed of. Because I attended Ted's three-day workshop, I knew that LA has a two-day auction. What happens is whatever they don't sell on the first day, they sell 
half price on the second day. And that is how we ended up with our lot. Uh, we paid $14,000 uh, for a lot that was assessed, I believe, 210000 You more than doubled our money. 